There's no lack of education when it comes to drunk driving. I sustained severe life-threatening and lifelong injuries, including a traumatic brain injury, a broken neck, and the loss of my right leg, as well as many other things. Yet one person dies every 45 minutes in the U.S. by a drunk driving crash, according to the Department of Transportation. Alex Audi, national president for Mothers Against Drunk Driving, says new impaired driving prevention technology could have changed what happened to her. Technology currently being looked at as the future for drivers. This was a part of a federal legislation that was passed and signed by the president last year. It's already law. The provision is part of the 2021 infrastructure law requiring a new safety standard for smart technology in cars. Recently, the NTSB also called for alcohol detection systems in all new vehicles. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has started actions on that and we'd like to see it through. The technologies being looked at are driving performance monitoring, think automatic braking or lane assist. Then there's driver monitoring. Which uses cameras in your vehicle and uh, radar to look at your eye gaze. And alcohol detection. An example of that is putting sensors either in the steering wheel or in the start button to measure the amount of alcohol in a person's sweat. At this point, we don't know what technology will be chosen. What do you say to the people who might say this would infringe on their rights? Yeah, I, I think we will get those arguments, but it's not your right to drive impaired by alcohol and to risk your life, others, whether they're in your car or outside your vehicle. That's not a right. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has until 2024 to look at the different technologies available and then set their standard. From there, car makers have two to three years to make those adjustments. Here in the studio, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.